guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. We're going to drop you in for a, a Vanguard Sector Specialty Review. I haven't done this for a while. It's something that I do periodically on the channel. I really enjoy doing it. It really does speak to the fundamental truth that you do not have to outthink the stock market to win in the stock market. Now, a lot of people will define winning in a lot of different capacities, taking on over exuberant risk for the hopes of maybe making a, a, an over exuberant amount of profit someday. I'm here to tell you that most of those efforts will end up futile. And most people end up either quitting or crawling back to the fundamentals that actually work. The M1 Finance portfolio was built about four years ago. It was uh, established with the idea of putting it to work and building it up to what it is now. We're staring down the $25,000 mark. We started with $1,500 progress. I have not maneuvered or tinkered with this portfolio one time. It is just a great example of what happens when you put money to work in the stock market and leave it the hell alone. We'll kick in here and we'll do the coverage of the portfolio. Guys, please. please. So as long as the tra trajectory is acceptable uh, in your investing application, I know there's a lot of people out there probably looking for uh, some level of hope. Uh, the stock market has uh, been a rough go the last couple of years uh, for those folks that have been trying to deploy strategies uh, of outthinking the market. Um, this is a portfolio that uh, I love to chronicle for the subscriber group. Welcome to the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF portfolio. This is comprised of all 11 sectors, the S&P 500. So 11 different slices here. Um, I use uh, Vanguard sectors. You could use any sector you want. Uh, or sector product that you want. Um, these are just the groupings uh, of each of the respective sectors uh, as Vanguard has has um, has uh, organized them uh, in their packages. Um, each of these Vanguard sector uh, ETFs can be found on their website. You can check the year-over-year -year performance. Most of these perform at about a 10% or some and a little bit more, um, some a little bit less, but right around 10% a year. And I've found it extremely valuable to group them together in this capacity. Um, I want you guys to understand this was my first Vanguard account that I that I opened. Here we're going on uh, March 5th of 2019. So going on four years of, of having this account, pretty cool stuff. Um, it's performed well. If you look at the charts here, this is um, what everybody's been fearing for the last couple of years. I've had some sideways action, um, but for the most part, this is just uh, this is held in quite nicely. I think the interesting part when we chronicle these portfolios is to look at where we started, um, where we are now, uh, how much have flowed into the portfolio, how much we've made, have me have we made a little dividend um, uh, rendering. And, and what was the management uh, or attention that was necessary over this account over the over that same time period? <clears throat> and I think you guys will find that in each of those categories, this portfolio exceeds expectations. Um, I, I just cannot uh, I cannot express how important it is to at least identify with the passive uh, program. Now you don't have to invest this way. You don't have to do anything you don't want. Um, I share this. This is a real portfolio. This is one of three that I have with Vanguard. And I just love investing this way. So I love to share it with the audience. And I, I like people to, to really understand what this actually looks like in nature. Um, you know, I started this account many moons ago. Let's see if we can scroll down here and see if we can get this to register. Yeah, just what I thought here. You guys can see that value. Let me scroll down so you can see that a little easier. This started with $1,500, um, and it started back at the beginning of March in 2019. If I was a would-be investor and I was tuning in and trying to find my place and who I was going to listen to on YouTube, you know, who, who it is that I would um, uh, uh, you know, uh, aspire um, to, to, to listen to, it would be those individuals like myself that produce results. It's that simple. I don't get up and down. I don't jump up and down. This portfolio will continue to make financial thresholds and it will continue to kick that ass. It's that simple. Whether or not I came on and shared it on YouTube or not, 
just speaks to my conviction on uh, the adherence to passive investing. Uh, now, the cool thing about this is I, I established the portfolio and I have not touched it since uh, its inception. Another cool thing is we have um, we have uh, uh, stared down certain financial thresholds. And I speak about, about this all the time on my channel with regard to looking at money. A lot of people can't imagine themselves with $10,000 in wealth. Well, to get to that first $10,000, you have to start with five hundred. dollars then you have to double that to a thousand. Then you have to move to twenty five hundred and double that to five thousand. Then you have to double that to ten thousand. And that is the breakdown of financial thresholds that I discuss. Now, once you meet the ten thousand threshold, the next financial threshold is twenty five thousand. Is there anybody's doubt in their mind that I will make that? Um, there isn't in my mind. But I think a lot of people, they operate with way too much doubt. They operate with way too many barriers. And the second we can start to blow down those barriers and understand what is actually possible in meeting financial thresholds, the better off you'll be. So a quick look at the portfolio and how it's done. We have just shy of 19,000 of inflows, just over 5,000 of gains. Uh, just shy of $1,000 of those are dividend uh, dividends rendered over the portfolio. So this only pays four times per year, but they all pay at the same time. So it's like winning the mini, mini lottery when these do pay. The dividend renderings go back into the portfolio when it's paid. So it's kind of a cool payday to have. But uh, here's the portfolio. Like I said, if you can count them, there are 11 sectors. I have this weighted to have technology at the top end. Um, interesting enough, look how well the sector has performed against some of the large cap counterparts, Google, Microsoft, Netflix, uh, Apple, have really done terrible meta uh, as well. Um, but the sector as a whole, look at how I'm doing. I'm up, I'm up huge um, over the time frame that I've owned this. And this whole portfolio is meant to demonstrate even to new investors if you're paying attention to what's happening here it's not my ability to pick stocks that's winning out here um, rather the time that's spent invested in each of these ETFs that's making all the difference and we've buffered quite a, a, a terrible last couple of years um, but uh, some cool churn is going on in this portfolio communication services is one that really sticks out to me here toward the bottom, this was down incredibly low. Uh, and since then, we're actually up overweight now uh, from our actual target allocation of 6%. And just to kind of explain, if you're new to these uh, portfolios, how they work and how they're, how they're broken up, uh, you wonder why technology is first and healthcare is second and financials third, industrials, and down the line. Um, I've chosen that, and their rank order is determined by the target allocation, which is here, 14%, 13%, 12%, 9 9 and so on, okay? So the top-end weighting is technology because I want the majority of my dollars to go into technology, the next majority going into healthcare, the next majority going into financials, and the lowest end, I believe down here on the end is, what is it on the end? It's materials, which makes sense because it's one of the smaller of the sectors in the S&P 500. Uh, and it's just not where I want the bulk of my dollars to flow. I do want exposure to materials. That ETF performs really, really well year over year. But um, I want the bulk of my dollars allocated where I see fit. And these are the rankings that I have. These are all tailorable. You can actually select um, what it is that you want in each of these. Um, this is just mine, and this is how I've got it laid out. Now, for you guys that are interested in obtaining this portfolio, it is shared in the description. I will put it in the comments section as well. Uh, please understand, if you do click on this link, um, the Independent Investor Channel is affiliated with M1 Finance. Uh, so we do receive a small compensation for um, for me providing these tutorials to you. 
and, and actually demonstrating how this portfolio works, um, give you my personal insights and, and, and personal satisfaction tutorial on this. Um, you can seek your exposure <clears throat> to the stock market in a lot of different capacities. This is just a really, really cool way of seeking passive exposure to the market. Um, I want to encourage all investors to understand that if you do opt for the M1 Finance brokerage account uh, or Roth IRA, it is a passive account. This is not a trading account. This is an account that you want to accumulate wealth and you want to do so over the long term. You don't want to be looking to trade in and out of these. You want to use M1 Finance for what it's meant for, and that is long-term passive investing. And in the last four years, we've been able to demonstrate how well we've done here with deploying that very strategy. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in. We'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys. So we come out of the M1 Finance portfolio. A lot of fun. Track the progress, making some capital appreciation and some dividends to boot. Nothing to scoff at. Um, I don't get onto YouTube and jump up and down and scream and yell like a moron. Okay, I roll these out as a, as a tutorial for people who are truly interested in how I seek out my investment, uh, how those investments perform, and more importantly, perhaps maybe if some of those fundamentals can carry through to the masses. And I'm here to tell you that they can. Uh, anybody can invest in this capacity. It's very, very simple. It requires very little effort except for the initial onset setup of the of the portfolio itself. Um, and I actually take care of a lot of that for you guys, having provided this very portfolio that's chronicled in this video uh, for you guys in the description below. If you guys enjoy the content, man, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bells, uh, leave your comments at the bottom of the video and share this with anybody out there that needs to see this. Uh, our youth needs to understand that investing isn't a futile game. It is not something that you get involved with and try to beat. It, it is something that you get involved with, with the sheer intention of participating in for the long haul. And there's no better platform that allows that to come to fruition than M1 Finance. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future. Thank you.